Hey guys, in this video we're going to talk about 1.2 betweenness of points and this theorem when it's, we're introducing line segments. So take out a sheet of paper, just write some notes down, pause the, feel free to pause the video with me, play, rewind, fast forward, whatever you need to do. Let's get started. Let's first talk about what this means, this betweenness of points. Right? Here is the theorem and the definition that we spoke about in class. Point M is located between points P and Q if and only if P, Q, and M are collinear and this formula makes sense or this formula is true. P, M plus M, Q equals P, Q. Now there's a, there's a lot of words here, I know, but what this really just says is that between any two points, there will always exist one point and they're collinear, which means they're on the same line. So I'm gonna draw that real quick. We have points P all the way to Q. And then M is somewhere between these two. I'm going to put M somewhere here. And all this says is that if you, ex if you have a point that exists between any two points, then you can calculate the distances by adding the two smaller parts equaling the total. So I can say the distance from PM Right? plus the distance to MQ, if you add those two together, you should get the total distance of P to Q. Small two distance added together gives you the total distance, and that is what this formula talks about. Adding the two smaller distances will always give you the total. And this is what we're going to talk about today. I'm going to do a couple examples to show you how this is applicable and how you solve problems using this betweenness of points theorem. Let's begin. So what I strongly recommend first is press pause, give it a try, get, draw the picture of this uh, statement or this paragraph that you see, the first line, label it, and then uh, press play again so we can solve it together. All right, so here it says points Q, Y, and Z are collinear, so that Y is between these two points, X and Z. So I'm gonna start by drawing that. I got X all the way to Z, and Y is between it somewhere. Just put it right there. Now, if XY equals 12, so I'm going to label this piece, XY equals 12, YZ equals 2X, so this second piece equals 2X. I also know that xz equals 28. So the total length from x to z is 28. What is the value of yz? What is that length? Before I figure out what that length is, I need to make sure that I multiply things. Combine them, add them, make an equation out of these two. What I do know is that if I add the two smaller segments, I should get the total segment. Kind of like if I measure the length from your feet, assuming that your body is complete and everything is collinear, right? If we find the measure from your feet to your hips and the length from your hips to your head, you can find your total height, right? So we're breaking that into two pieces. If I add 12 plus 2x, I should get the total length, xz, which is 28. And at this point, you're just solving for x. It becomes an algebra one problem. We're going to isolate the variables. We're going to move the 12 to the other side. Since it's positive 12, we do the inverse, subtract 12. We have 2x equals 16. To get rid of the 2, since we're multiplying 2 times x, the inverse of multiplying by 2 is to divide by 2. And you get x equals 8. Now, this question is not asking for the value of x. It's asking for the length of yz. So I got to go back, plug in x in here, where we get yz equals 2x. I'm going to put that in a different color so it stands out. So we have yz equals 2x. And I plug this into my equation for x. I substitute it. And I get 2 times 8. 
So yz as a result equals 16. Now if you check it, 16 plus 12 is a 28. If it is, you're good to go. And that's what we were looking for. We were looking for the length of the segment yz. Let's try another example. Again, press pause, draw a picture, label it, set up an equation, and see if you can solve for x. So I have a line where x, y, and z are on the same line, and y is between y is between x and z. So I'm going to draw a number line, or sorry, a segment. I have x, I have z, and y is somewhere between it. Now, I'm going to label it using my information. x, y is 2x plus 1. This equals 2x plus 1 yz equals 6x, and xz, the whole distance, equals 81. This is the very first step. Look at your picture. The keywords here are collinear. It's highlighted instead. Collinear. y is between x and z, and then I start plugging in my values for those segments. Once you have that, we go back to the Betunis of, of, uh, of points theorem, where you can add the two smaller parts to get the total. And I'm going to do that. I'm going to add the two smaller parts, 2x plus 1, plus the other small part should give you the total, which is 81. Algebra 1 problem. Solve for x. So I'm going to combine like terms. Notice how the 2x and the 6x are on the same side, so you can just combine them. There's no need to change anything. 6x plus 2x gives you 8x plus 1 equals 81. To get rid of the 1, we do the opposite. Since we're adding 1, we're going to subtract 1 from both sides. I get 8x equals 80. At this point, we divide both sides by 8 since we're multiplying. So we can do the inverse. And I get x equals 10. Now, I know you did a lot of steps here, but notice, always go back to the question. What is the question asking? Because the question here is not asking for what is x, but what is the value of yz? So I have to go back and find this length, yz. Now, I know that yz equals 6x. So I'm going to plug the value of x into my equation and I get yz equals 6 times x, which is 10. If I simplify, 6 times 10 is 60. That's what I'm looking for. Okay? So, please comment below if you have any questions. If this video was useful, press like. If you haven't subscribed, you're missing out. What are we waiting for? All right? If I can sum this up into, into a smaller portion, into a, a scenario, this is what I would say. The general solving situation, right? If I wanted to solve any problem using this theorem, these are the steps that I would follow. Number one, draw a picture. Draw and label a picture from the words. Figure out which point is between which point, right? Label your picture, draw your diagram, Something like this, right? Once you label it and you know what segment equals what, what is the total going to be, set up an equation, okay? And then once you have your equation, so step number two is set up equation. And the equation will always be the two smaller parts add up to the whole. Add up to the total length of the segment. And then lastly, once you have your equation, this becomes an Algebra 1 problem. 
So step number three, solve for x. And then reread the question. Make sure that you go back and you're actually solving for what you're look, supposed to be looking for. Am I solving for x or am I solving for something else? Do I have to plug this back in? And this is it. If you can follow these three steps, you're gonna be successful with these types of problems. I hope this has helped. Let me know if what you need or if you need anything. And as always, we'll calculate her.